The injection molding machine is constantly exposed to different influences. Factors such as the temperature control and water supply, the ambient conditions, batch fluctuations, and the closing behavior of the non-return valve can influence the process and therefore also the component quality. IQ weight control was developed to compensate for such disturbances and still ensure process stability. The program records the injection pressure as a function of the screw position and compares the pressure curve from the current cycle in real time with a previously recorded reference curve. The machine operator can decide for himself when the reference curve is determined. For the best possible results, the following two points must be given at the time of referencing. First, the process must be stable. Second, the quality of the pouts produced must be within tolerance. By comparing the current pressure curve with the reference curve, differences in injection volume and viscosity can be detected. IQ weight control compensates fluctuations in the injection volume by adjusting the switchover point and viscosity fluctuations by adjusting the holding pressure. The aim of the automatic adjustments is to keep the injection volume constant. IQ weight control can be found on the machine under production. Right here. However, a preview of this page is also available on the injection screen. Clicking on the shortcut icon also takes you to the main page. The setting options for IQ weight control can be found under the Process Control tab. In the drop-down menu at the top right, you can select whether only the switchover point, only the holding pressure, or both the switchover point and the holding pressure are to be corrected. For best results, switchover point together with holding pressure should be selected here. At the top left is a graph showing the injection volumes of the last 50 shots. This helps to estimate whether the process is stable or not. For an accurate assessment of the process stability, the injection pressure curves can be observed in the graphics tab. If the injection pressure curve and the injection volume are stable and the part quality also meets the requirements, then the referencing of IQ weight control can be started. During referencing, a reference shot is determined from the last 20 shots that best describes the other 19 shots. After successful referencing, IQ weight control displays which values are calculated for the switchover point and holding pressure correction. If IQ weight control is now activated via the main switch, then these calculated correction values are applied in the current shot. In practice, injection molding processes are often validated and upper and lower limits for switchover point and holding pressure are specified. In this case, the permissible corrections of IQ weight control can be limited by upper and lower limits. For non-validated processes, these limits can be changed to the respective maximum. Under the extended settings, in addition to the injection pressure sensor of the machine, another pressure sensor, for example a cavity pressure sensor close to the gate, can be selected as the basis for the control. For holding pressure control, automatic adjustment is recommended. To make sure that IQ weight control determines the right correction values, you can use the visualization of the injection pressure curve in the graphics tab. 
Here you can compare a single curve of the most recent shot, or a set of curves of the last 20 shots, with the reference curve. If you select the reference comparison button at the bottom right, the current injection pressure curve is shifted by the volume correction in the X direction, and by the pressure correction in the Y direction. The curve corrected in the X direction and Y direction is now consistent with the reference curve in the reference comparison. This means that the changes to the switchover point and holding pressure applied by IQ weight control result in the same volume being injected as in the reference cycle. The calculated correction for the switchover point and holding pressure can be found above the graphic. In addition, the current shot counter, the injection volume, as well as a percentage for the viscosity change and the consistency of the current pressure curve and the reference curve are displayed here. In the monitoring tab, the three values, injection volume, viscosity change, and pressure profile compliance can be monitored. The monitoring limits can either be determined automatically by activating the main switch here, or they can be set individually by the user. What should happen when these limits are exceeded or not reached can be defined in the respective drop-down menus. Here you can choose between the following actions, alarm lamp, rejects, alarm lamp and rejects, or production stop. Once all these things have been set, the monitoring can be activated. Now the process is automatically controlled and monitored. For IQ weight control to be able to react to process changes without restriction, the specific injection pressure limit and the material cushion should not be too small. The specific injection pressure limit should therefore be selected so that it is about 100 bar or 1450 psi above the specific injection pressure peak value. At the same time, the residual mass cushion should not be smaller than 10 mm or 0.4 inch. Changing certain set points causes IQ weight control to delete the existing reference curve and automatically determine a new one. Set points that trigger automatic re-referencing are dosing stroke, decompression after plasticizing, injection profile, switchover point, holding pressure profile, and holding pressure time. For IQ weight control to determine a new reference curve, you need at least 20 shots with the new process settings. If you do not want to lose a specific reference curve, you can save it by writing a parts data set. If you start the process after a production stop, usually you have to adjust one of the mentioned set value parameters. In this case, startup cycles should be used. These can be found under production. In the startup cycles tab. During the startup cycles, the process control is deactivated and no automatic referencing is triggered by the reduced startup parameters. In practice, the material cushion is often monitored to assess process stability. For a constant injection volume, the switchover point and the holding pressure are adjusted, which also varies the size and dispersion of the material cushion. It is therefore recommended to monitor the injection volume instead of the material cushion, or to re-evaluate the limits for monitoring the material cushion. You can obtain further information on the IQ programs in our customer training courses. Please find the details on our Engel website under training or contact us at training.austria at
We also offer application engineering support at your side if you need it.